time is the most valuable thing that there is. And if you're about to fight me, then it becomes even more valuable. And if you're over here trying to study this and that, and do this and that while I'm over here, you're trying to learn about how to do your steroids while I'm over here learning how to beat your ass. You spent all that damn time while I was putting miles on the road and learning proper techniques so I didn't have to, you know, run fast and jump high. I mean, I run, you can run fast and jump high, but for how long? I spent more time doing what I do. Doing what, you know, doing, doing more than anybody else is gonna do that's ever gonna be fighting, that's ever gonna, that I'm ever gonna be fighting. And how sometimes when people think that they need to do a certain thing or come off a certain way, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it comes very condescending to their fan base and, and just the MMA fan base in general. And, you know, people, they, they, they throw that shit right out. And, you know, these people are so self-righteous sometimes that they think they can just come out and put, it on, put on an act. I'm the only one standing here, like, at this point in time, besides my brother, who, who made it the real way, you know, with all, with all odds against you, all, you know, you know, when the go, when the going gets hard, that's where, you know, that's where you really get going. Anybody else who actually authentically made it through the path of least resistance at all costs, like, you know what I mean, no steroids. I'm never a jock wrestler, never somebody, never a pro athlete, first and foremost. I had to work for every ounce of athleticism I've got. And, um, and I've had to put more time, which allowed me to spend more time on the mat in the boxing ring. You know, I didn't take no shortcuts. A lot of people out there holding on or running away, you know, they're, they're one punchers. You know what I mean? I've had to throw hundreds of punches to develop time. And I've had to spend time and time on the mat to develop a less skill level. And so anybody who's done that on one end or the other when it comes to mixed martial arts, whether it be boxing or jiu-jitsu, they never, you know, it's too much to do both. You know what I mean? I, ma I managed to amount to uh, the highest level of boxing and the highest level of jiu-jitsu. You know, I train with the best wrestlers. I train with the best grapplers. And, then, you know, that's not exactly what we want to see is, is people uh, hold on and run away. And... and they can try to articulate, but it's never going to sound that good. And they can they can go ahead and and go out there and put on a show and they hold on and run away or knock someone out with one punch. But you know, at the end of the day, it's never going to look that good. You know what I mean? Like two things yeah. I don't do is stand straight up and go straight back. You know what I mean? I'm coming right for you, so you know you better put in the work because you're going to know my name is the motherfucking Lord when I'm standing in front of you. And it's like look into my eyes, bitch. You know what I mean? Am I lying? This is what it is. Uh, and that's why I can sit here and say that. These people have nothing to say because they're trying to put on a show. It's like they're putting on a show for you folks. They're out here selling you wolf tickets time and again. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm all there is. I'm the last one. Yeah. I mean, that's all I have to say about that. Bro. All right, guys, so I really want to thank everybody for being patient. I knew when I started this channel, my biggest concern was once August, September hit, uh, for me, it's going to be quite chaotic with a lot of the things that I have going on, and I'm not going to be able to put the, you know, have the output that I was putting into this. Um, so it's been tricky. It's been a little tough, but that's the bad news for the channel. The good news is, been talking to Nick, had a great conversation with him over the last few weeks. You know, I got a FaceTime call uh, yesterday. Uh, we spoke for quite some time. We, you know, we've been on the phone, and um, I'm trying to get to where he is to film uh, some more stuff. Uh, and also, too, he's trying to figure out, um, you know, his next move, his next fight. So we're trying to coordinate me going out to California, where he is right now. He's been in between Cali and Lake Tahoe. I'm also, too, in, in the process of getting uh, funded for um, this animation project that I think we have a spot for Nick. It's called Blade Swing. It's me and my partner on my projects. It's an animation series. It's cool. It's cool as shit. I love it. And um, would love for Nick to be, to be a voice in it. So that's what I'm kind of working on. And also, too, the content I'm putting out there, the quality of it's not the best. I'm throwing out the stuff that I've had and uh, saving the, the, the good high-end stuff for the bigger project, which we're still trying to complete. So, again, thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for the loyalty. Thank you for subscribing. And I will do my best to... Uh, get stuff out there uh, more frequently than I have in the last few months. 
And please keep sending the questions, the comments. I'll get to them all eventually. Um, so if anybody has any questions they want to ask, you uh, shoot, them, shoot them on one of the videos and I will get to, to the people. And truly, your support and subscriptions and comments and loyalty is very, very much appreciated. Um, so thank you. And again, thanks for, for your patience. And I have more to come. All right.